Lots of real estate teams wonder about the pros, cons, and best practices of involving team members in their social media videos. For starters, is it even a good idea? I mean, what if a team member leaves? In my opinion, that's just a risk of doing business. Now, personally, I like how Far Group NW goes about it. They prep and plan content throughout the month and then block a day in which they film vertical videos together as a team. Wash, rinse, repeat. They contract out a local videographer who handles all the technical aspects of the production. Setup, filming, gear, editing, etc. So all they have to do basically is show up and deliver. Then once all the videos are edited, the team utilizes Instagram's collab feature to effectively co-author the videos. Now, not to get all philosophical sounding here, but it's kind of like the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. In other words, it isn't a so-called team page that only features its leader. It's actually a team effort. They all win together. It's like your favorite TV show with a whole cast of characters. For a long time, I've been heralding just how important video is in terms of building your agent brand. After all, real estate is most definitely a know you, like you, trust you form of business. Your agent brand is, to put it simply, you. Nobody does you better than you. And in all the land of marketing, there is nothing that puts you on display quite like video, but not just you, your team. No team's value or culture is defined by a single individual yet. When it comes to content and social media, that's typically the extent of it. Together, in my opinion, is always better.